Hello, this is Desmond Cheese, and this is our six quicks for Australian musician. My first musical instrument was an MPC, I think. I was making beats on the computer before that, and then I bought a MPC 2000 XL. Uh, and my first instrument would have been an old Casio or a Yamaha keyboard, like a cheap plastic one, when I was six or seven. And I worked out that if you play the black keys in the right order, you could make, you play Wild Thing by Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> it's pretty good. As, well, recently, um, guitar repairers in Red Hill in Brisbane. John at Guitar Repairs, legend, classic dude. If you're in Brizzy or near Brizzy, go check it out. Always good for a yarn. This, we bought, bought this less, less than a year ago. So 1973 Carvin, like US made twin neck, the bass and guitar, which works perfectly for the new rig, which is like looping, synchronized looping bass stuff. And we got John, a guitar repairist, to refurbish it and put in these massive bass pickups. Um, and he put the tremolo on as well. It's sick, really, really epic, and heavy, very heavy. <laughs> and uh, mine is the Octatrack over there. You can see maybe Electron, Swedish engineering, Swedish engineering, <laughs> Octatrack Mark II. It's a eight-track sampler. It's um, crazy for mangling samples. It's really good. Ooh. So yeah, we obviously use the Octatrack. It's sort of like the main brain, I guess. It um, has a bunch of samples on it. Mostly runs drums. Um, like stems from the tracks. Stems from the our, yeah, recorded material. And that um, is the master clock for the rest of the rig, which is a live looping setup, mostly for Desmond guitar stuff. Yeah, which we spent, I don't know, it's been about a year, year and a half of putting it together and now it's all in a flight case and it's schmick but it's epic it's behind us um, so MIDI synchronized with a channel for the guitar channel for the bass and the looping Strymon Volante tape echo and a Mooga Fuga cluster flux um, chorus pedal analog chorus are all MIDI synchronized so cheese can get a beat going I can get a bass line going loop it guitars going loop it mm. we can have keyboards on top just all and then you can just stand back. delays and yeah, yeah yeah so you can let the sounds play and then we can just play with the knobs it's extremely fun yeah sick That's a tricky one. large format like five u synth like moog like guitar jack size wall of synth <laughs> would be sick yeah. yeah yeah definitely for me uh i don't know it's not really a portable instrument. Like it's by definition not a portable instrument, but that would be sick. Um, Maybe like Moog, Moog One. Well, Moog One would be epic. Um, absolutely epic, but that's like, yeah, that or a cart, like you have to choose. Um, yeah, vintage things like Roll, Rowan, that yeah, guy we play with has a Juno. What is it, 60? 60, 60 yeah. Just epic just sounds we've got a deep mind and it sounds okay but the juno just sounds better just sounds amazing so yeah old stuff sounds good often like, yeah i guess I've, I've never had an sp probably like an sp yeah. 404 at some point yeah or mm. Vermona dm one mark three oh yeah analog drums i think we're going to get into some analog drum stuff so big rack mount analog drums um we saw nils from recently was rocking two of them on stage yeah. epic um <laughs> Yeah, it's just yeah. toys, toys. Never enough toys. Mm. The latest project is our LP we just put out called Sunrise and Set. Sort of recorded over the last three years or so. Sort of, um, yeah, bit of a journey. It's a sweet journey, yeah. It's a very, we, I love, or we love albums. Like, mm. put it on, press play, 
keep doing what you're doing, chatting with friends, going for a walk, whatever, but just let it play. And it is a real journey. And we're really brutal. Like if something wasn't great, just cut it, go on. So um, we're getting good feedback and I absolutely love it. It's, it's just a cool album, beginning to end. Yeah. Yeah. Feels good to have it out. Get it out. Get it out, get in. <laughs>